I'm really tired. I feel like this is gonna be a really bad idea. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. It's hump day. So grab a friend or an enemy and just hump them. Maybe not an enemy, but give a friend a little hump. Oh, I don't think I told you guys this yesterday. So when I came home yesterday from work, there was a lady in a van and I don't really talk to strangers. I'm very like, stranger danger, stranger danger. But she looked really like sad and she was like, excuse me. And I was like, okay. I was on the phone with my mom. So I was like, don't hang up in case she's a killer. Cause I think everyone's a killer. I have issues. And she gave me a flyer with a picture of her daughter's face on it. And it said, she was telling me that her daughter's been missing for three days and that the police aren't helping her. And the apartment complex, it won't let her hang up flyers cause it's soliciting. And I guess it has something to do with the guy. I couldn't get from her if the girl went willingly with the guy, like if it was her boyfriend or if he took her or something shady is going on. But she's like, if you see this girl, please call 911. I'm like, okay. And I felt bad. So I was like, can I give you a hug? And she's like, thank you, honey. Because no one's being nice to me right now. And I was like, what the frig? Like your freaking 14 year old daughter's missing and people are being mean to you. Like I would have a freaking, I'm going to call her later and see if, well, I'll text her and see if she found her yet. But like if my kid was missing, if Bentley was missing, like there would be mass flyers everywhere. And I don't care if you take him down. I would keep putting him up every day, especially if that was the last place he was seen. I would call, well, I guess she said the police are involved. But I would freaking put an Amber Alert. Can't you put an Amber Alert out for a 14 year old girl? She considered a runaway. I don't know. I just felt so bad for her. And then there were signs like on the stairway and they're gone because I guess the maintenance people probably took them down, which is rude if they did because people hang up signs for missing cats and missing dogs. And I mean, I love my dog with every fiber of my being, but I think a missing person takes pri Dang it, I forgot to stop at the mailbox. Damn, Fitbit bands came because this one is disgusting <sighs> I literally remembered like in the middle of the night I was like go to the mailbox in the morning I remembered all morning until I got in my car but that's okay because we're oh no we're good on time but I can't go back it's too late for that we're almost at the highway we just have to sit this red light for 18 hours so I probably should show you I don't know if I should show her picture maybe I should because maybe it'll help if you know someone that lives around here is watching I'll show it later when I get home because I don't have it with me but she said like if you do see her not to approach her just to call 911 do y'all remember this song it's like two summers ago no not two summers ago I think that was just this year and then they had a baby and they broke up that's why I don't take rappers they shady this song reminds me of someone. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna jam out. Hello, mi gente. Don't go check your mail in your pajamas. Because that's always when you will see a very fine chocolate man. Not that I pick up dudes at the mailbox, because last time I talked to someone at the mailbox, and it was stalking me for a month, but yeah, now. Look at this little nugget. Hi. We went for a walk and we got mail. Let's see what we got, Bulbies. We got one, two, three. Oh, a charger for my phone. Cause somebody ate the other one. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. Ooh. You cannot eat this. I am telling you. I probably should've got black cause he only seems to eat my white cords. He ate my iPhone cord for work. And he ate the original cord that came with my phone. And I never order stuff from Verizon because, like, I feel like they're, like, ass holes. I feel like they're overpriced. But for some reason, my phone only likes the original chargers and the charger from Verizon that I bought for my car. And it was a bundle. And it lights up, but it won't. Why doesn't it work? 
dang it. See how cool is that when you're trying to plug in your phone in the dark? When you touch it, it lights up so you can find the hole. And I think that turns red when it's plugged in. I just like the white ones better than the black ones. Like, no racial, but I do. Where is my phone? See, I like it. Maybe I should just leave it plugged in when I want to charge it over here. I like it by the couch, but... Somebody! Eat! Look at him! He just rolled his eyes at me. You will respect me, or you will go to the freaking ASPCA. Be one of those arms in an angel puppies. Don't ever try to roll your eyes at me. I will pop you like my mama would pop me. I don't know what this is. Oh, this might be his sweatshirt. Hey, whoa, that's really big. That's for Molly. This one's for Bobas. How freaking cute is this little monkey bear in his AD dog hoodie? Like, do you want to die? Or do you, like, not want to die? And this one is for Ms. Molly Moo. They are so cute. This might be a little big for her, but it'll probably fit. I'm, like, dying. Like, I literally put the camera down. I took 9,000 pictures. And I'm still dying of... I never thought I'd be one of those obnoxious dog people that, like, buy outfits for my dog. <laughs> but he looks so cute! You look so cute, little nugget! We gotta put the hood on your head. I know, I don't wanna abuse you. And you still have your harness underneath. You're probably so uncomfortable, my bulbies. And my last package is Fitbit bands. Yay. Cause my, other, my band is so gunky, I can't even wear it cause it's gross. I thought I got white. I guess maybe I just got purple, blue, and black. Maybe I just wanted to get dark colors. They look really small. Perfect, you can't even tell that it's not a authentic Fitbit band. I made chicken, you guys. Are you proud of me? I made all that chicken. I rotisserated it. I sauced it. I flavored it. And now I cut it up. Ignore that. That's This is how chicken comes now. They come in these weird um, Publix bags. But I made this chicken. Right, Boba? Where'd you go? Right, Bulbas? Yeah, she made all that chicken. She walked up the stairs with it. She's a liar. I'm cleaning Bentley's puppy bear problem. Oh, and the little nugget. I filled this up yesterday and I had such a hard time filling it up. It's just a stupid water bottle. I literally spent 45 minutes trying to fill it up because every time you flip it over, it leaks. And I was following the directions. I had it for months and all of a sudden it wants to play me so i'm gonna try one time and i'm not gonna get frustrated because after all that work i did he knocked it over today knocked it over got water everywhere well there was no water and i got home i don't know if he drank it or what but uh bad puppy oh you're cute you're not bad you're cute so of course it worked this time i filled it up once and it is not leaking. I don't know what the heck was going on yesterday. It would just keep leaking and leaking and leaking. It was just really weird. Or maybe I was trying to do it when I was really tired and I was just like, I'm so tired I cannot function. And I'm getting to that point about right now. What do we need to do? What do we need to do? There's always something to be done. I actually just kind of want to relax. And I think I deserve that, right? I kind of want to make another cheeseburger pie because uh, I have two eggs, because we bought six, and milk. I never use milk and I rarely use eggs. Oh, and I bought more ground meat and extra cheese. So I should just make it and then that way I'll have it. I could pick off of it for the weekend, give some to Brandesha and Aaron. Yeah, I guess I'll make it. It's like 10.30. So I'll just do it. Oh, and I have to give Ben his heartworm flea everything for the month. This stuff makes me sad because it's like poison. But it keeps the heartworms and the fleas and, and the bad things. So I gotta give it to him. 
we we'll just put it on him a little bit. You want to put your medicine on, baby? No? Okay, we'll do it later. He said he'll do it later. He doesn't want to do it right now. He's busy. He's busy sitting and staring. I'm really tired. I feel like this is going to be a really bad idea. YOLO. I'm just going to do it. I have everything ready. So hopefully I can do it super quick. It's beautiful. Not to toot my own horn, but best recipe ever. So I'm gonna cut it in half and I'm gonna give Brandisha half, maybe quarters. Erin, Brandy, me, and then I get two. Yeah. No. A quarter for Erin, a quarter for Brandy, and then the rest for me because I cooked it. I'm gonna call it a night because I'm exhausted. I've been trying to condition myself to go to bed. Let's turn the oven off and not be stupid. To go to bed earlier every night, and if I go to bed soon, I will be in bed earlier. Follow bus. Say bye to all your friends. No, I don't want you. You cooked. You can give me anything. I know. Bye, guys. Bubbles, can you get the coolest? Oh, you're so sweet. Bubbles, what about one more? Just They just want one more from the kisses. Get the coolest. Thank you, my sweet puppy. Bye.